Now, your Storm Tracker team forecast with meteorologist Ashley Renee. So it is still a cloudy view starting off our Wednesday, but we'll have clouds clearing out a little bit more so later on for today. So it's 47 now here in Baton Rouge, 45 in Denham Springs, and 44 in Slaughter. It's just another cold, cloudy beginning to our day. We still have some clouds moving across our area this morning, and we can also see that on our sky cam. So again, not the prettiest view to begin our Wednesday, but we'll be able to have a few peaks of sunshine later today. But we'll still be staying dry. Winds will mainly be out of the westerly direction around at least 5 to 10 miles per hour. And our highs will be getting into the mid 60s range, 65 for Baton Rouge, 66 for Plaquemine, and 63 for Napoleonville are today's highs. Now we have another cold front that will be moving in today. And then behind that, we'll have that northwesterly wind flow returning to bring in that colder air, and that will help our temperatures to be lower for the next couple of days. So our lows will be in the 30s going into Thursday morning, 35 for Baton Rouge, 37 for Plaquemine, and 36 for Gonzales. So make sure you're bringing your pets inside if you can. If you cannot, make sure they have enough straw and blankets while just sleeping outside. But it'll be best to bring them in if you can. And also cover your plants if you can't bring them indoors. And our highs will only be in the low to mid 50s for tomorrow. Mainly low 50s range, 52 for Baton Rouge, Gonzales. Seeing upper 40s for Woodville and Liberty and Macomb. So again, tomorrow will be a cold day. And we'll still have colder weather lasting through at least the first part of the weekend. Highs will also be in the 50s on Friday. Friday, upper 50s on Saturday, and then a slight warm up with highs getting into the mid 60s on Sunday. Now, tomorrow will also be a breezy day. Our winds could gust up to about 20 miles per hour across the greater Baton Rouge area. So, lower temperatures in combination with that colder air from the northwest and this breezy conditions, it'll feel quite cold for tomorrow. So, you'll likely need to keep on some type of coat throughout the day on Thursday. And our overnight lows will be around the freezing temperature for Friday and Saturday mornings and still pretty chilly with lows in the mid 30s range on Sunday morning. But we have that slight warm up with lows getting into the mid 40s by Monday morning. Now our rain chances aren't too high, but we are looking at the possibility for some rain on New Year's Day around 30% and then another chance of rain around the middle part of next week. So now looking at the future track, we'll have that warmer air moving in on Sunday with the return of southerly southwesterly wind flow. We could start to get some showers late. Sunday night, more so during the early, early morning hours of Monday. So your New Year's Eve day plans looks like it'll be good to go as we're looking at dry conditions throughout the rest of the day. Still should last into the evening, but then just a little after midnight, we could start to get some showers moving through and still continuing during the time you should be heading out starting your morning commute, but the rain should be clearing out of our area sometime Monday morning and the rest of the day, the rest of that day will just be a little bit drier. But again, mainly expecting the rain Monday morning, highs will still be be in the 60s on that day and then we'll start to have cooler and drier weather returning for your Tuesday. Now for today highs in the mid 60s highs will be in the low to mid 50s Thursday and Friday upper 50s Saturday lows will be in the 30s for Thursday through Sunday mornings and then early next week we have that slight rain chance on New Year's Day. 